Hi everyone, how are you? Good evening, Delia. Good evening, Nicola. Good evening, Russ, Anne, Kieran, Rachel, Sarah, Ellery Jones, Gracio, Claire Ross Reed, Ain, Sally, Steph, Tina, Jens, Jenny, Nicola, Claire, Kieran, Della. Welcome, one and all, to this week's. Mark tries to cook. So shall we bring him out? Without further ado, Mr. Ali. Oh, of course. You've got to wear your hot dog. It's pure, pure vodka. Oh. Just one sec. It was so funny. Yesterday, Mark got really emotional oh, about something. Oh, the Russian something. stuff's really good. I can't tell you what it was he was emotional about, but he'd forgotten that he was wearing a hot dog outfit oh, yeah. when he got emotional. I was a crying hot dog. <laughs> it was really funny. Is he making hot dogs, says Rachel, which is a which is a good connection. Bit of a bum steer there. Yeah. I've got a feeling... Am I supposed to guess what I'm trying to make? Go on, then. Um, bread, celery, eggs, onion. Is it like a sort of omelette? Nope. A sort of quiche? Or oh, get the mayonnaise out the fridge, you need mayonnaise as well. So guys, we have eggs, we have parsley, celery, onion, cheese, bread, butter, Tuna and tomato. Tuna bake. Nope. Tuna sandwich. Mm, a bit more than sandwich. A tuna toasty. A fried tuna melt with a fried egg on top cooked to perfection. Bloody hell. Fried tuna melt. Is that a thing? Yeah. I don't see a recipe before me, Miss Sawala. I'm going to tell you what to do. So what I want right. you to do, right, got to pay attention. I'm just going to throw it all at you now. So all of it. I want the tuna into the bowl, and then I want finely chopped one stick of celery, um, probably an eighth of a red onion, and that parsley, very finely chopped, that nice to be your best. Then you're going to butter the bread, you're going to lay a slice of cheese on the opposite side of the buttered side. <laughs> you're going to add the tuna melt, you're going to add some thin slices of tomato, another piece of cheese, and then you're going to fry the buttered side on both sides in that pan, and then you're going to fry an egg on top of it. Oh God, I'm, I would, that was too fast, man. <laughs> you said an eighth of an onion. That was very, yeah, maybe very... Just, just a sprinkle of fry, of chopped red onion. Okay. They're asking, are you feeling hot with your hot dog, dressed as a hot dog? I've got a hot dog. I've got a very hot dog. Yeah, I'm good. How is Tina everyone? Said, did you get all that, Mark? So go on, tell us about what you're doing. Uh, what am I doing? Well, I'm gonna, I'm it's trying very to... easy, that's why I said it in one All right, up. okay, easy target. The bit I didn't get was where you butter one side of a piece of bread and then you turn it over the other side and you put something on the other side in the other side. Well, you did because you just said it. Yeah, but what bit of what, what? So I'm just gonna do that much. Okay. How is everyone? This fair morn. Well, it's not morning, is it? It's evening. How is everyone this evening? Can't wait for this. Love a tuna toasty, says Wonder Woman. Has anyone ever fried their tuna toasty? I don't think I've ever before? had a tuna. Is I've it a thing? Egg on top. Is a tuna toasty a thing? <coughs> a fried tuna melt, yeah. Is it? Yeah, it's one way, it's one way of doing it. Uh, and how should I cut these? Uh, very finely, so that's too, way too big. Oh. So I would cut it down the middle, Ooh. lengthways, yeah. a few times. <gasps> Mark. Mark! Yeah, somebody said I thought it had a chilli in it. It can have chilli in if you want chilli in it. Mark's um, not a big fan of chilli. I'm not a big fan of chilli. So what? What, finer that way? Yeah, I would cut it again lengthways. Well, yeah, but that's not going to affect the thickness of the... Of course it is. You're going to have tiny pieces. Look at the pieces you've got at the minute. No, no, don't use that piece. Just use those two pieces you've got there and cut them again down the middle. I can't. Of course you can. These? Yeah. This is middle. getting ridiculous. It's not more finely chopped celery, otherwise we're going to have great big lumps. I can't get down the middle of it, it's too thin, that's ludicrous. 
You're you don't terrible have to put celery, teacher. guys, if you're really small. Terrible. You don't have to have celery, guys, if you don't want. Yeah, this is a posh tuna melt. Terrible teacher, you are. Are you tucking your fingers in? Yeah. Do you want me to teach you how to rock cut? Like that? No, so keep the tip of your... That's making it more dangerous. Keep the tip of your... Um, the tip of your knife. Wait, hang on a second. Yeah. On the board. Yeah. So don't... So put the tip on. Right, now oh. rock. Oh. What if I put my fingers under there? Well, don't you do you have to tuck your fingers in? Oh, that was stressful. That, Why? that, that onion is too thick, baby. What? Use your other method. What's the other method with the knife? Yeah. You don't want massive, great big lumps. Now, because this is a very easy recipe, I'm going to be, I'm going to be really judging on you on it. All oh. you've got to do is finally chop Crying those veg. Crying again. And mix them in crying. With the tuna. And it has to be really. Look, mixed. Why do I keep crying in a hot dog outfit? I'm crying over, over you. you. Crying over you. Sarah Pellmutter says you need onion goggles. We do. Right. Watch those fingers, says Della. Oh! Yeah, if you don't like celery, you could put green or red pepper. I don't like celery. I don't like pepper. Okay. Let's do Some that. Some side by time girl is having anxiety watching you. Don't have anxiety. Some, I love your name. You make me want to be by the summer, summer seaside. Summer, 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 summer time. time. Summer, summer time. I've got a glass of great big wine in the summertime. Okay, off you go. Don't forget you can use peppers instead of celery. I thought I had to do the parsley. Yeah, I'm just talking to people. All of that? Well, put half of it if you think so. I'm going to say it's far too much, Ned. You're... Have you had too much popcorn, says Kieran Robbins? Too much popcorn. Tuck your fingers in. Oh, there. Oh, my. That's tucking. The other thing you're doing isn't tucking. Oh, and you're using your knuckles as a shield. Try rocking the knife. Uh, Try rocking. That's better rock. I feel quite, I feel quite stressed. Because <laughs> I feel like my nails are going to come off. Yeah, the bread is very nice. Very, very nice. Is that nice. the one I got the other day? Yeah. Mm. I get... Can I just say, I shop really well. Uh, yeah, sometimes. Yes, I do. No, he's not really allowed knives, Xander, but we're letting him tonight. Sending you all our love, Xander. Sorry about your... Yeah, Mark told sending me you so all sorry, sending you all our love. condolences to you. Uh. Okay, so now mix those all together and chop them all up. Chopping so is so boring! Carry on. <sighs> right, uh, what did you say next? So but, I would uh, mix those all together and chop, finally chop them again. Get your nice skills. Been learning. Whoa, look at that. Look at that. I could do it without looking. Should I show them? What? No, don't ah! look at it. <laughs> Rachel Louise, if you buy anything pre chopped, you should put it in there. Just a little something on that, actually. You know, buying pre cut vegetables, pre chopped vegetables are really, really expensive. And as soon as you've cut a vegetable, it starts to oxidise and it loses its goodness. So, like, don't ever do that thing where you prep your vegetables at age four. Not unless you're having people around, you've really got to save time. Someone had a go Chop at you. And cook straight away. Someone had a go at you the other day on your meals and minutes for using uh, pre grated cheese. Oh, no. Well, there's always somebody that's got something to say. There's, right. So there's, there's always guys. There's always someone with something to say. Get a fork. Oh my and I, would, I would, I would break up that tuna oh a bit. Eyes. Quite a lot. Because remember, with them, um, you don't want big lumps of anything in a no, tuna melt. So what else do you think you might need in there? Some oil. No. Nope. Mayonnaise. Yep. What seasoning do you think would be good? Oh, of course. A little bit of salt. A little bit of salt. God, what is wrong with that salt situation? Is that enough? Maybe yeah. a little bit more. Pepper. A little bit more. Pepper's behind you. Oh, 
I love pepper with tuna. Can Michelle I just... says her other half just rang her and she told her I can't talk watching Mark cooked as a hot dog. He's very confused. <laughs> okay, mayo. Somebody just asked me about knives. I love that knife. What make is that knife? Pampered Chef, is that Pampered Chef? No, this is that one with the... Oh yeah, Pampered Chef. Pampered Chef, oh, that's my favorite knife. How much? Go. What do you think? About that much. What do you think, guys? That much. Okay. Give it a give it a mix and then have a look. Who's going to be making this tonight? Oh. Right. Oh, yeah, that's okay. all right. Yeah. Pump all this in. Yeah. What I always find is I do this. It's not, it's half a can of tuna. That was not a whole tin of tuna. Did you not put the whole can in? It? Yeah, there was only half in it. Well, it was already a can is enough for one person. Well, why was it open and pressed one down? It's a person sandwich. No, because I just drained it for you. Oh. Is that all right? Oh, Sarah Sutton made Mama's spaghetti tonight. Even bits. Boom. Right. right. I seem to remember I need to butter the bread. Yes. So Butter's here. Just need to do this. Just taking a breath. Just taking a beat. Taking so, a little moment. I need to butter the side of the bread. Is that right? Just flicking my glasses in my mustard. Yeah, you've got to butter both slices of bread. On both sides? No. Nope. Take it right to the edges, guys, because there's nothing worse than if someone doesn't take it to the edge to of the, the dry edges. bread. Isn't that right, Nad? Yeah. Where did you hear that from? Is that a saying? Well, that's an interesting side that you've chosen to butter. Why? <laughs> why? No okay. You're right. gonna. I'm sure you'll tell me why later, won't you? Go on. Right, it's just come on, come on, get going. Cheese. Cheese. I can't look, I have to feel. Mark, meanwhile you're panicking. I'm trying! Get on with it! Oh my God. Oh, now you put the onion knife in the cheese. We don't Cheese do and that. onion. Favourite flavour of Chris. No. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah. On there. Is that, is he doing what I told him to no, do? No, you said to turn that on there. Not in the pan yet. Well, how do I turn that over without the butter going everywhere? Well, it will a bit, but... It, oh, that's a ludicrous die. design that's fault. That's what you have to do with a toasted sandwich. Oh, that's really annoying now. Right, cheese. Tuna. No, not another piece of cheese yet. Oh. Tuna next. Where does the tuna go? On the cheese? This is bizarre. Tuna. Was that Russ Souch saying it wasn't yeah, enough? Russ. Tuna. Hang on a minute, Russ, I've noticed something about you. Tip yeah. it up. You get a card and suddenly you're a cooking expert. <laughs> What's that? Okay, so the pan is now practically on you, fire. You, why are you over there filming? Because I'm showing them how you've left the pan on fire. You never get your pans right. Okay, okay come on, get a move on. Okay, well, I've forgotten what to do next. Sliced tomato. I oh, see the butter's come off the bottom. Mark, there's enough butter, it will be fine. Thin slices, not thick. 
Mark, uh, and some Fisher Mist to start. Tell us, some Fisher, what you're making, Mark. A tuna melt. That's it, isn't it? Fried <laughs> tuna melt with cheese. No. What are you Mayonnaise. Doing? No, that is a tuna melt. What else are you having that's making it posh? Can Mayonnaise. anyone tell him? Mayonnaise. What's the other thing he's got to do with this? Tuna I hate melt? the green bit of a tomato. What's Can't... the other bit? God, it's nice. Where do I put this on there? Yeah. Fried egg, exactly, Nicola Randall. Right. Okay, now what do you put? That. Nope. An egg. Cheese. Biggest sandwich ever. <laughs> Rachel Lee really says that looks I immense. Can't, can't. That is a doorstop challenge. Is the, is the heat on? Yeah. That's good. Keep pressing it down. Just breaking my finger. <clears throat> oh. uh, I don't okay, so we want that on a low to medium heat. Ow! <laughs> Oh, I forgot it was in a pan. Of course it's in a pan. I know, but the butter's coming off. When it's in a low to medium heat, want the cheese to melt a bit, when it's the bread to get nice and golden. Mmm. All right. Okay. Have a little look underneath. How's it looking? God, I can't do I do that. This is ridiculous. It's all going to fall out. No, if you're careful. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's looking all right. Okay. I'm not going to have to flip it, do I? Are you going to have to turn it over? You're choking me. We don't have to flip it in flowing. Right, meanwhile, clear this up then. Well, that's cooking. I'm not convinced by this at all. It's a Sky Crate Spray for Toasty. It's going to be delish if he put enough mayonnaise. What do you think? Who thinks he put enough mayonnaise? Hmm? Mmm. Kieran, uh, D d d oh. Imagine him going to A and E as a hot dog. Kieran Robbins says. Oh, hang on. That's good. Turn it yeah, I need to turn it over. Okay, so what are you going to do then to turn it over? How do you think you're going to hold that? it and flip it? Okay, just with one finger, maybe. Flipping just gently. it, baby. Don't throw it. You're not bring it, throwing no, it, babe. I'm not. Just gently turning it. That gently. is not going to work. Oh, of course it will. That just is be, not going to work. Be assertive. So it does. Though it be thick, it be fierce. If you cut it that thick with a sourdough or something, you'd ne it would never get through. Though it be thick, it be fierce. Let me have a look at it. Thy yeah. tuna melt. Thy are. What are you doing? Get off. Just flattening it a bit. Mm. Yummy. Okay, clean that off because you're going to have to do a nice present to get yourself um, a plate. Oh, it's yummy already. Hang on, why are you tasting it? I just got a little bit of the tuna. So good. 
tune so, them out. So, so good. Baby, it's not on the heat. Oh, okay. Be. Now you can get this small pan and start preparing your egg if you want, but that's still cooking. Yeah? Yeah. Small pan. This one? Is it the, the thinner pan? Than that? that one? Mm. It's got bigger. Okay. Tony Rana. So a nice and fried. Buttery fried egg. Bit of egg in, a bit of butter in there. Yep. Eggs fried in butter, delicious guys. Mm. Where's my... Oh, that fried tuna. I'm going to do a dish with fried tuna. It's really nice. Those little bits that make steak, guys. Delicious. Leave that just to put on... Why do you keep egg. fiddling with it? Get off it. I'm you. Don't, you're not supposed to help right. me. Have you had a look underneath it? Make sure it's not burnt. No, it's not my job. Well, oh, you're standing there doing it. You're just standing there giving it this. I'm nibbling it bits. Chi Chi. Right. Plate. Get a plate ready so you've got some on there for when you. Presentation is everything, says Henrietta Henderson. Not gonna look very nice in that white plate. It's gonna look gorgeous. Just leave me alone. <laughs> That's a great sound, isn't it? I love that sound. I am slightly worried though. That's burning. No, it's gorgeous. It's golden. Okay. All right. Egg. Here we come. Cheese is melting now. Okay. Yum. Oh, good. What are you doing? Lost a bit of. Egg yolk. What have you done? Shell. How did you manage that? Because it wouldn't. Oh. Oh my god. Is oh. that half boiled or something? <laughs> okay, wow, well, well done, good prep. Okay, why don't you flip this over? Because it might have got a bit chilly that pack that sandwich on the other side. Oh, yummy. Big now, guys. It's a little bit sloppy, but lovely. Sloppy? I don't too much, too much. Either. Can I just say? Too much tomato. Nope, delicious. Tomato is fantastic in a tuna melt. So, who shall we send this to? Are we going to get Don't delivery? Don't burn that egg. That is way too high. That for an egg. Right, get a spoon and just spoon. Okay, that's going to burn. So turn the heat off. No, 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 not yet. Get a spoon and pour some of the, some of that fat and put it on the egg. It looks so damn good, says Sky Elise. Made her hungry. Do. You say pour something on the egg. Buttery egg. It's ludicrous what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, You're back stupid. on the heat now. You're saying stupid things to make me look stupid. Mark, in a minute, I'll leave you to do this yourself. I wish you, you bloody done. had. I what you're doing. I wish you had. <laughs> Probably be a hell of a lot more easy. Well, there we go. I think we're done. No, I'd leave that in the pan till the egg's ready. Just leave it fine. To cook See, for me, that egg's Your ready. Your problem is you constantly pull this back. So that the pan isn't actually on the heat. That's it. Now you've got the heat where the where the sandwich is. How's that? Blast it? No, I wouldn't. It would suddenly burn. I'd keep it on that nice low to middle heat while your egg is cooking. Oi! Right, do you want to flip your egg? No. No. You want that horrible runny bit on the top? Is that what you want? I can wait. No, but you get hard on the bottom. What? While you're waiting for that runny bit. So how what, what, what do you do about it then? Well, I would flip it. I don't want a flipped egg. Flip it. Why do we have to get flipping? Because it's so jelly on the top, it's disgusting. It's going to break. No, it's not. Just have confidence. Flip. There you go. See, it's all getting well done on the other side. It's too well done. Okay, you ready? Put the sandwich on, plate. Okay, quickly with the egg, because otherwise the egg will go hard. Come on. Come on. Right. Flip it over. No, we never put the egg that way. Okay. Yeah. It looks pretty close. Oh, that's nice, thank you. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't have flipped let's the egg. Put, I, I, a nice, pretty yellow yeah, yolk would have been... That. Right, okay, let me just explain to you then. No, so, I don't no, want to just no, explain. I don't want to explain anything. The thing to do would have been to start that egg really slowly. Because what happens, you had it on a really high heat, so it was totally hard on the bottom. So for you to spend enough time... Yeah. Right, well, that's you failed. 
rather than that's fail. Well, it's just making it look nice. Yeah, you've got to taste it. I'm not tasting that. It looks horrible. What do you mean? Oh my god, the pan is still on. Mark. I'll taste it. I'll taste this, but I don't want to taste that egg. It looks horrible. So let me just explain to you about frying egg, because people are learning as well. You should have put that pan on really low, because what you got was a hard egg on the other side, so you didn't have time for it to cook on the top. What you can do, guys, is put a little oh, lid on. So put a little it. lid on. And then it can cut, but you don't want that jelly stuff on top. What do you mean I like a not an overdone egg? You've got to, no, I'm sorry. I'm You've not having to... that egg. You, you can have it. Oh I'm not God. having that egg on my tuna. You are so annoying. I'm getting you tomato. I'm dirty, dry, crummy I'm bits. getting you tomato. You're a really annoying tutor. If you were at my university, I'd ask for my delicious. tutorial back. It's delicious. Is it? Well, mm. Okay, guys. Cheese is You're now going to see the shot that I know should have been shot. Here you go. Wow, that's so good. Here you go, guys. Enjoy, baby. It's lovely. It's oh, that looks horrible. Hmm? Why are you showing off? I'm not showing off. I'm trying to do run in and mean, was... mark the fences out. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's so nice. Isn't it? Guys. Ooh. Honestly, guys, it's absolutely lovely. Yeah. What do you think, guys? What are they saying? What are you saying? It's really lush. Well done, Mark. Money egg, nom nom. Well done, Mark. Another. I think it's done really well, actually. Tell me what I like about it. It's not Seasoned it well. It's delicious. That's not at all dry. It's really nice. Maybe I should do that for Meals and Minutes for the main, main channel. Oh, it's really nice. nice. A bit hot though. Well, I'm a hot dog. He's Bye. a hot dog. Bye. He's a hot. Everyone said they're going to try it, Mark. Yeah, winning. Winning. Do a hot dog dance. <laughs>